let me share with you the journey of Forever Magic Cosmetics. It's been an amazing three years. Um, I launched my company in May 2018. Mm -hmm. um, it's just started from a small idea that I had in my garage that I wanted to create an innovative, unique eyebrow kit uh, for customers to enjoy. I had a unique idea of creating two colors pour in one glass jar and I decided to go with it. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if makeup artists will love it or not. Mm -hmm. I remember the first day that I launched, nobody knew who is Forever Magic Cosmetic, mm -hmm. what our agenda, what we believe in. I literally had to kind of uh, beg for beauty influencer and makeup artists just to try it, just try it. You don't like it, it's okay. You don't need to give us a good review. And slowly, slowly it was growing. And I remember the days that my Facebook page had 500 followers. And all of a sudden today, when I'm looking over a hundred thousand followers, wow. I still cannot believe it. <laughs> but you know what? When you believe in your idea and you go with it and you are cons consistent because so many times I heard the, the word no, and it didn't make me to stop. Actually, it gave me the power to continue and pursue my dream and make my brand bigger and bigger mm. so it was an amazing journey I still learn every day and I'm very blessed to be the founder of this company right that's a good question mm -hmm. um, COVID-19 definitely changed everything that we see toward beauty industry um, I believe that it will, it will go toward more clean, um, basic makeup. Mm -hmm. um, since we all know the reality of our life of wearing masks, uh, mainly what shows the eyebrows and the eyes. So there will be more demand for eyebrow product, mm -hmm. uh, less lipstick, maybe more like a lip gloss or something very light that doesn't stain the mask. Um, also, I believe that still the demand of the hand sanitizer will stay there. I, I keep using hand sanitizer mm. because this uh, COVID-19 all of a sudden uh, wake us up and let us understand that there is so many viruses and bacteria that we don't see out there and we keep need to wash our hand. And because we're washing our hands more often than before, also there will be more demand for uh, moisturizing like hand cream. Um, so yes. more like a basic uh, clean uh, makeup rather than colorful and high pigmented uh, makeup yes yeah I, I i found it interesting also um uh ever since we started to wear masks so often during through the throughout the day so the eye makeup part is more important than <laughs> everywhere everywhere else yeah so yes oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes. So somehow mm. uh, my friend was sharing that um uh we are actually saving money on the on the lipsticks <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly we buy less lipstick but mm -hmm. then um, i'm lucky enough that i develop an eyebrow product um, my vision was always to develop something that it's like best basic it's necessary it's not something like okay so i want more color or eyeshadow it's something that every lady before she leaves the house she must have it you know it's right. boosts our self-confidence it's uh, let us feel comfortable as we age we our eyebrow hair fall unfortunately mm -hmm. and also before in the 90s we used to thread our eyebrows so they don't grow back anymore so i felt this struggle i saw my friends i saw mm -hmm. my mother-in-law my mom and um, so my vision is really to develop every product should be unique and something that boosts the self-confidence of our consumer. Uh, again, very good question. Um, consistency, mm -hmm. uh, believe in your idea, because if you are not a believer, you cannot convince people and make them understand your product. Um, be unique. Don't be a copycat. Um, I don't like to copy other people. Um, yes, it's more investment. It's more time. Um, you will have to deal with a lot of, to overcome a lot of obstacles on the way. But if you look, you look at it as the long term, I believe it's, it's well worth it. 
um, mm. and uh, of course being positive and smile all the time of and course. don't be embarrassed to ask like mm -hmm. reach out to people hey I have a new brand a makeup brand or beauty brand this is a new product please try it mm -hmm. pitch to everyone I pitch to everyone <laughs> like I can to uh, somebody that cleans somebody's house, I can pitch to a CEO. I talk about my product to everyone. And, uh, and you have to be excited about it because people feel it. If you don't have the excitement, yes. you don't believe in your idea. Right, yes. Creating a product when it's your own product, it's not a private label. Mm -hmm. There is so many suppliers and vendors that you work with. Um, if you can see behind me, anywhere from the box, my box is very unique look. It's not like a square box. It's two boxes connected to each other. Mm -hmm. And there is a rose gold and it was very difficult for me to find someone um, that will produce it. Um, correctly and also it will be um, of course also make sense as far as the cost um, so first of all you must get sample you need to see the quality of the manufactory um, if you can they can send you pictures of how they do things and how many employees ask about the capability of massive production because eventually you want to grow and when you want to grow you want to make sure that they cannot just produce 200 units they can use they can produce 200,000 units and quickly um, so mm -hmm. my product has everywhere from barcodes like label name of the product labels um, carton packaging shipping box which is a custom shipping box um, uh, components like the glass jaw components mm -hmm. um, I personally work uh, with China a lot and um, everything except my um, my formula um, mm -hmm. made in China the red only the formula is made in US and the ingredients on the formula. Um, but I have a very good experience with Chinese uh, suppliers. And I must tell you, I'm very thankful. I have even a funny story to tell you. Um, there is a guy that um, is more comfortable in Chinese. We start communicate. I've been working with him for a long time to do the carton boxes. Mm. And um, is very comfortable more with Chinese than English. So I said, you know what, let me switch to Chinese and I start <laughs> using Google Translate. And <laughs> since then it's very comfortable. So you see oh. long emails with graphic design and explanation and measurement oh, in wow. Chinese. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, so I don't mind. I wish that it will, that I will learn from that because you know, I just copy paste, but that's funny. So when you look at my emails, you see a lot of Chinese. So. That's not yet, not I, yet. <laughs> I, I browse on your website but then definitely we'll check it out and we'll uh, we'll love to I mean find yes. a vendor through you guys <laughs> if um, you I, yes Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's an amazing idea and uh, mm -hmm. it's an excellent idea because a lot of uh, suppliers and uh, manufacturers in the uh, US, they don't know where to start. They don't know how to find a component company. They don't know who is good. They don't know how to do it. Mm -hmm. um, they need a review. They need to see um, so like brands like me yes. um, that tell them about your website and about how what to look for mm -hmm. when you start working with someone because you know there are stories that sometimes they are not successful working together you know right that right component can uh, damage or things it's you know you have to deliver it through the boat so it takes time also some of like my components are fragile they are glass I'm lucky enough that I never had any issue. I always um, include insurance, which is important for new brands that they watching this video to make sure to ask if it's including insurance, if it's not, so how much extra should I pay? Mm -hmm. And um, I had one time that 
I produced business card and there was a typo. It was missing one letter on my website. Oh. I contacted the vendor and surprisingly, and since then I'm working with him, he said, no problem. I send you 1500 business card again uh, mm. on my cost because we made a mistake. Mm. And that's a good uh, business practice to me. And since then I gave him so, many, so much business. I have many, uh, I cannot completely reveal the idea, but um, okay. <laughs> I can give you like uh, some kind of uh, hints. Uh, one of them, it's a kind of, it's a tool that will have, will help to apply eyebrow product mm. uh, because a lot of us do not know how to draw, draw eyebrows. So mm. that's one of them. Another one, it's a natural uh, skincare product that is including one ingredient only. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that's also a unique. Then um, I would love to develop and I'm working on it in the early future, um, mm -hmm. a product that will really have a good coverage for under the eye um, dark circles and will not crease and go inside the wrinkles mm -hmm. and so many <laughs> other ideas that I have it's endless it's I have also another tool that uh, related mm -hmm. to makeup that I'm working um, so I'm excited about this project right um, first of all it's very important to have a uh, thin thin brush as you see our brush it come it's very precise and small mm -hmm. and also it's a dual ended so on the other side you have mm -hmm. the spoolie um, which you can brush off the access uh, formula that uh, that if you apply too much and because um, a lot of product they have different texture but our product, it's a little bit goes long way. It's a very high pigmented formula. So mm -hmm. I um, recommend to start a with a little bit, not much uh, formula, and you can always add. And the reason that I did it high pigmented because when it's not high pigmented, it's not long lasting. And our mm. product is a long, long lasting and also smudge proof, you see, it doesn't go anywhere. Oh, wow. so, mm. Yeah, so, um, so, start with a little bit also try to go more to the natural tones like don't go go more to the co uh, cold tones not mm -hmm. you can do warm but like if you have blonde eyebrows do not go with a color that is orange has mm -hmm. orange in it if you have a brown eyebrows go with a formula that doesn't have a red in it a lot because mm -hmm. otherwise when he, when you apply it on your skin with a ph the ph level um it will become red and if it become red uh, you you know nobody has a red eyebrows naturally <laughs> might some might have but majority it's like brown so it's important matching the color if you can find a product that it's two colors together like our product is yes, better i really want to try <laughs> yes because then you can create the ombre look in the beginning of your eyebrow you can apply the lighter shade arch and tell and fill in with a darker shade and then you don't have like an angry face look you have more like a natural look and also you can control how your eyebrows will look like because you have two colors in the morning if you want more natural look you can apply the lighter shade only nighttime you can apply the darker or you can mix them both so that's very important as well and that's pretty much it and uh, that's the rest is just practice <laughs> exactly that's right practice too yeah but you have beautiful eyebrow you have the perfect eyebrow <laughs> thank you it's with my product i it's mean product. naturally naturally i do have nice eyebrows but i do have bold spots and without you know but you are I'm very not, <laughs> yeah very good model for your product oh, yeah, thank for you sure. i'm not in my 20s anymore so all of a sudden i wake up every morning i see oh no one gray hair or oh. i see like a bald spot so um yeah believe it or not i i, I have one gray hair. i i do i i can i can show you later um but luckily i have my product i'm like where is it where is it let me cover it right away so yeah mm -hmm. okay <laughs>
Yeah, no, thank you very much for your time. I think that the interview is done. Our question is uh, all being, thank you very much for sharing your, your ideas and your story.